I want to put together a few videos here to show how to access the different things that need to be accessed for Encounter 7. First of all, once you get into your Google Classes, you would find the Encounter 7 class. To get into the Google Meet, you click on the link. Now, if the class Meet isn't running yet, you're going to get this screen that says, wait for your teacher to join, then refresh this page. And that would look like this. You wait a few minutes, you look at the clock, and when it's time for the class to start, you just hit reload, and then you're in. The next part is maneuvering around the classroom. Up at the top, let me go back to my student, we have classwork, and when you click on that, we have different dates. Week six, week five, week four, and under each week, we have the days. Here's Tuesday, Tuesday, Thursday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and you click that, and you'll find a variety of things for that day. So here, for example, is the pre-lesson writing a one paragraph response. Students would click that link and it takes them to this page that shows everything that we're going to talk about during that day or for that pre-lesson, which could take half the class, could take 15 minutes, and sometimes there's not a pre-lesson. Then it'll tell you what else to do. The Think Circle module, thank you ma'am, is the Think Circle module for the two weeks. It says complete the connect question below. Then Log into Think Circuit and read the prompt and overview. And then finally, for homework, read or reread the passage and complete the multiple choice. So here we have a, a Google Doc link. When clicked, opens up to the assignment. And in this case, it tells you what to do on the left, and the work goes on the right. In addition to Google Docs and Google Form assignments, we also may have a vocabulary assignment. Those will say vocabulary, and you open up the link in Google Classroom, click on the link that's inside the link, log in with your Google account, and what you'll see is that right here it says one assignment, due in four days, tone and mood. And then here is the writing a thesis assignment. There's a video that goes with it. We were on the video. There's a, a read part, but you'll notice that all of these are available. So even if, for example, I'm not gonna talk about vocabulary cards, the student can still read them, write a response here read about what a conclusion is. They can do word games, there's a lyric lab. And so all these are things that they can do in addition to watching the video. When you click on the assignments, it'll, it'll tell what needs to be done for each one. In this case, for tone and mood, it's just watching the video and taking the quiz. The others are still available. And then it's just a matter of Clicking go, watching the video, taking the quiz, and you'll see these blue, these yellow dots saying these are the ones that are required, these are the ones that can also be done just for extra practice. And the main program that we use for a think tank is Think Circa. The student just needs to go into class link and up in the search box type in think and you can stop at think but there's three things there's rewrite think there's think central we want think circa and when think circa is clicked on all the assignments that need to be completed will show up right here and from there it's just a matter of clicking on the assignment and completing it and that's how you access all of our 
think tank stuff. 